Hey, what's up, fellow YouTubers, fellow Toy Nets and Toy Collectors? This is Starscream1988, and today I bring you my 31st Toy Haul of the Year. And of course, today is Tuesday, and as you all know, Tuesday is my Tuesday's Toy Hauls. So, without further ado, let's see what goodies I got this week. So, as you can see here, I have this monstrosity. Yes, I said it, monstrosity of an Optimus Prime. Um, blasphemy, blasphemy. <laughs> Why did I pick it up? Well, you know, it was $40, I think, at one time, or am I exaggerating? Maybe it was $29.99, um, but I, I, I thought I saw it for $40, right? I don't know. I, th I think I saw it for $39.99. Anyway, I picked this up for $16.92. It was on clearance at Target, and uh, yeah, I mean, I can see why it's on clearance. It's, it's, ah, it's, it's horrible, but I am a somewhat of a completist. Um, I had to get it, I guess. Um, and that's basically it. That's all I can kind of say about that. <laughs> um, no, I will not get Bumblebee. I refuse. Um, actually, if I see it for $5, I might pick up Bumblebee for 5 bucks, <laughs> 7 at most. $7 at most. So anyway, so that's one of the pickups that I got. Right here on the same table. As you can see, I finally have my Creo Optimus Prime. And um, I actually won this on eBay. And um, it's, as you see here, obviously it was in pieces, but um, I actually won this whole lot, as you can see here, with the, um, with the Optimus here, with the Matrix. I won this for $16 shipped. Um, the person kept all the Creons, but I didn't care because I actually am getting another one of these boxed. Um, so I only really wanted one set of the figures, but I did want two of these, as I want one in truck mode and one in, um, you know, Optimus mode, or whatever, so... So yeah, I got this for um, 16 bucks, and finally, and it's complete. Um, he's he he or she, whatever they said it was complete, and it really is. So I'm really um, I'm happy about that. So pretty good investment for 16 bucks. Uh, another cool toy that I picked up this week. Actually, I didn't pick this up. I gotta say, my young one did, and um, my baby is only five months old. This upcoming 10th of the month. And um, I was going through the aisles, and I always take it to the stores with me now. And um, she was like, kind of like googly goggling or whatever. And she kept looking at this, um, and it was in a peg holder. And she just looked at it, you know, she kept looking at it. So I grabbed it, gave it to her, and she loved it. She wanted to eat it. So <laughs> that's how I know that she kind of liked it. Uh, so I just had to get her. So she actually picked up her first action figure, which is pretty cool. It's not a bad one either. This is Mothra, for those of you that don't know. This is part of the fusion series um, of the Godzilla toys. And there were some other toys, but this is what she looked like. She looked at and kind of wanted, I guess. So I picked it up for her, and she does play with it. I tried not to let her put it in you know, her mouth, because I don't know how um, good the paint is or whatever. But um, there you go. So she picked up her first toy ever. So I was super, super excited about that. So I had to get it. Uh, next, we have a new toy here. I finally found one of these guys. There weren't anything else. You know, the only one I'm really... Um, have a hard on to really want to get his Ultra Magnus because he looks unbelievable. But this is cool. So I found Thundertron as you can see here. Um, I definitely like the whole pirate theme. It is pretty cool. It looks like a kind of like a Decepticon animal symbol with the with the crosses there. So that is pretty cool. And I will probably more than likely be doing a review on this bad boy. Um, so, but yeah, so I picked up type Thundertron. All right. Um, next, we actually picked up. A, a Power Ranger here. Um, you know, at first these were kind of hard to come by. Now they they seem to be dime a dozen. Um, I'm sure at this point of the year, since it's the holidays, everybody's trying to unload their warehouses. So these were probably in the back of the warehouse. This assortment, you know, the ones that came with this. So now they're like everywhere. So I finally I grabbed one. And it was on sale too. It was for like $12.99. So I was like, oh, that's a no-brainer. Let me grab it because I do need it. So I can finish my Samurai set. And I did pick up some other Samurai stuff. Uh, which hopefully I'll be able to show you next week or whatever or not. So there you go. So I finally got the um, scorp scorpion creature, Decker scorpion creature. Cool. And this is kind of weird. I don't have any turtles yet, but I did pick up some of the um, supporting cast members, as you can see there. So I picked up Metalhead. Very, very cool toy. I don't think I'll be opening any of my turtles this time around. So as I keep acquiring these, I will show them to you. But I don't think I'm ever going to open these as I'm going to keep them in the in the case. Um, and I'm only doing that because the only thing that I really want to get next is the NECA ones. I know they're hard. I know. But um, I want to get the NECA ones. I have the 2000 line ones um, mint in package. 
um, hopefully I'll have all the turtles and some of the supporting cast um, for this line as I think it's a really cool cartoon um, and I do like the toys a lot I think they're pretty awesome um, if I could ever get originals I will but I, I, I'm not pressing my luck on that actually I think it'll be easy to get the necklace before I get the originals in package but who knows uh, as you can see there fish face pretty nice so um, I just think I'll, I'll probably go for dog pound next shredder and then I'll grab the turtles as they seem to be a lot more um, easier to find so cool there you go and last but not least, this will be for the Hot Wheels collectors out there. And this is a pretty long haul for Hot Wheels. So if you've stuck around this long, thank you. If you want to finish off the video with me, then great. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we have the Surfing School Bus. Pretty cool. Um, something that we'll probably never have picked up. Um, but I don't know. I, I liked the color. I love gray. Um, so I, I just thought it was kind of cool. I have seen this obviously in the past before. It's not a new product. But um, I figured, you know, just check it out, grab it. It's kind of cool. So there you go. Picked up another um, Volkswagen Beetle there. And this is the white version Tampo. So I have the one that's the opposite of this. All blue with white and the obviously the red Tampo. But this is the white version. So I needed this one too. To um, compile with my Hot Wheels Tampo collection. Picked up another Harley Davidson um, Fat Boy here. Pretty nice. Um, I still actually have the first one that I showed you a few, uh, well, maybe a month ago, whatever. The one that I'm supposed to be taking to um, the my ex-boss from the comic book store because this is actually what he drives. So I actually got this for him too. So now he has two colors. <clears throat> Next, we have some modern muscle. Um, here we have the ZL1. Beautiful. With that really cool um, hood. Kind of like the, like the ZR1 Corvette hood nice all right next is the just a special edition here sorry if it's a little dark as always i'm in the dungeon all right a little bit older but a goodie rx7 awesome i like this one a lot i like this one more than the black one now i don't have the black one yet um, but now that I, I own this blue one, I want to go pick up the black one whenever I see it again. I passed on it a few times. So there you go. RX-7. Found myself this treasure hunt here. Pretty cool car too. I do love um, Shelby. So this is the four Shelby, um, the GR1 concept. Pretty cool. And I actually found two of them. It's a treasure hunt, but it's not, it's not a big deal. It's not a very expensive treasure hunt. So as it, you know, it doesn't have real riders or anything like that. So I think that's why it's one of the cheaper ones to find. Cool. So I found two of those. <clears throat> I actually, this is yesterday, Monday, I actually found this. Um, so I was really psyched because I do like, I, I've, I've, I've actually, I've loved this um, Batmobile since it came out. I think it's very different. It's very cool. And, um. The, the original one is in blue, but I really like this one a lot more. Again, I love gray for some reason. And then the, you know, red is my favorite color, but then with the black, it's just, hey, this is perfect. I mean, I like this a lot more than the blue one. So I was able to find this one, that one, and that one. Of course, I will open one. I will try to keep the one that's more mint in package, and then one for trade later on in the future. So pretty cool. Some classic muscle. Got here a 73 Ford Falcon. Very nice. Love my Fords. Next we have a Hemikuda 68. As you can see there. Pretty nice. Cool. And a 67 Pontiac Firebird 400. Very nice. Again, it's not 400 for 400 horsepower. It's actually 400 because of the size of the engine. 400 cubic inch engine. So pretty sweet car. <clears throat> actually, I kind of said that wrong. There's no such thing as a 400 cubic inch engine. It would really be... So, for example, uh, like a 6.2 liter charger is really a 392? No. 
326. God, I forgot my numbers. But anyway, hopefully you get the gist of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm trying to get technical, but I'm not getting technical, so we'll forget about it. Ferrari California. It's a new color that I did not have. Pretty sweet again. The gray, the black, and the red. I love it. A Lamborghini Aventador. Again, I'm not a huge Lamborghini fan like I am Ferrari, but I do like my V12 Lamborghinis. And that is all I pick up. It's just the V12s. So it's a nice color. Again, gray. I like the gray. Silver, whatever. Uh, hey, another Ferrari here. And this is the 430, uh, 458 Spider. Excuse me. I will say they got lazy on the Spider here. I mean, if they took the time to paint this one there, why couldn't they paint this one? That's just laziness. I mean, they did the headlights, but they didn't do the rear. So. I don't know. Sometimes Hot Wheels has real good, you know, hits and then a lot, a lot of misses. Mustang. We got another Laguna Seca here. I think I have this in two other colors. So this is another color that is new to me. And this is the gray with the red. I love it. I hope I don't have this, right? I don't think I do. <laughs> I'm asking you guys. But um, yeah, so that's a new one. A gorgeous, gorgeous Eleanor here. Shelby, 67. GT500. So, very, very, very cool car. And again, in red, I love it with the white stripe. <clears throat> Found a couple more mystery machines, as you can see there. So, another couple to add for the trade collection that I'm hoarding. And grab myself a, another Redbird. Another red bird, another red bird, another red bird, another red bird, and another red bird. So I found six red birds all together. And they were in the um, Kmart bins at 79 cents, which was pretty cool this weekend. Um, so I was able to grab these six and pretty much all the hot wheels that you see there in front of you, including the, um, the mystery machines and so forth. So it was pretty cool. So hopefully, hopefully you guys went to your local Kmarts and were able to get stuff like this again guys as always thank you thank you so much for watching my videos for subscribing for sharing for commenting for thumbing my up up my videos i do appreciate it thank you for all you new subscribers that have subscribed in the last you know couple weeks month even two months three months um thank you again for all you folks that have helped me reach the 300,000 plateau of video um views um, I'm well well past the 300,000 now, but I do want to appreciate that and for again for also helping me reach the 300 subscriber plateau I know a lot of people may have thousands of um, Subscribers, but they are nowhere near 100,000 um, views And so I do do appreciate that so much you guys will never know and that's why I I do like to show the wolf a little bit uh, my last contest was a few weeks ago and they went very well um, people keep asking me for the um, the, um, <clears throat> the the Hawkeye um, contest, and I didn't even I, I just kind of like I didn't get aggravated with it, but in all honesty, it was just <laughs> it was a trick question, guys. Um, everybody got it wrong, and I guess nobody really did their research. I mean, there's there's only been three Hawkeyes, so if you didn't know who they were, then I mean, geez. Um, but anyway, uh, some people will argue that and say, no, there's been seven, eight Hawkeyes, you know, there's, but whatever. But there's honestly really only been three Hawkeyes. Um, and that's basically everybody got the answer right because I'm sure everybody went to Wikipedia and, and were able to find the origin books and whatever not. So that's great, whatever. But I just, nobody won, so I just, I didn't give it away. Um, but other than that, though, everything else has been given away. Um, even with items that nobody actually got the right answers, I still gave them away. Just that one kind of, I, I think it was a little too hard. Um, so next time I'll just be more straightforward with the other contests like, 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 you know, like I have been with Transformers and stuff like that. Um, that's basically it. Again, guys, thank you so much. You guys take care. Peace. And I'll see you guys later.